Mara here from the Transport Lens and as you can see I'm in Newcastle railway station uh, not as busy as what it would normally be on a Saturday because there are some uh, works going on so there's some replacement services and stuff and I'm here to do a bit of train spotting today It was a 10.41 to Exeter St. David's and it was on time. Hey everyone, um, well I'm down this end of the station, everything's coming out this way and um, today there's nothing going out that way because they are replacing some of the track and um, fingers are getting a little bit cold but overall I'm really enjoying it. Met a few up with a few other people and you know got to have a little chat which is nice. Um, so now I'm just wondering how much longer I'll be able to stay here before Ian starts making noises about going for lunch because his tummy's rumbling. So, um, been having a muse about things and I've been wondering about the difference in attitudes towards um, enthusiasts between bus stations and railway stations because, I mean, most of you bus drivers and the bus companies, the operators are, you know, very friendly and whatnot, but if you go to a bus station, you know, you are not allowed in to take video or photos or anything. Um, but railway stations, you know, you come, you sign in, they smile at you, they say hi, they tell you what, what is okay and what isn't. And it's fine. Why is the difference? I mean, um, is it historical? Is it health and safety? I don't know. But I've been wondering about it. Well, been here a couple of hours now, can't really feel my fingers, starting to have trouble turning the camera on and off, um, despite my great big thick gloves. So I think I'm just gonna get these ones that are in here and then I'm gonna call it a day. here at the Metro Centre um, there's really not many trains running because of the works just by Newcastle um, so it's bus replacement services and it's cold it's dark it's stingy don't know how well the footage is gonna come out but we're gonna see if we can get some buses I do love it when they give you a thumbs up and a wave. Well, we're heading back to the car now. Look, see, there's Ian. And um, we're calling it. It's it's just it's just too dark. Um, it's not worth it. At least it's not high contrast. So hopefully I'll be able to get some decent footage out of it that's usable. But um, it's not worth hanging around for long. Anyway, take care. Give us a thumbs up subscribe. See you in the next vlog. Bye!